Hey guys, what's going on? Kelly here, and I have some good news for you. And that good news is dumb motherfucking Yahoo Answers. I know you're excited. I'm really excited. Love this series. And I just want to say something. I've been kind of procrastinating a lot lately. So, all right. So in order for me not to procrastinate, this is going to be official. Every Tuesday, I'm going to do Dumb Yahoo Answers. And if I don't, you guys can harass the shit out of me. Like on Twitter, on Facebook, wherever. And uh, you're going to be like, Kelly, you need to do this right now or we're going to kill you. So, you know, get it done. And if I already use this gameplay, I'm really sorry. I'm just so disorganized lately. But uh, I'm working on it. So soon, you know, I think in like within the next week, you're going to see a lot more material from me when I actually get things organized. But, you know, we have to do dumb Yahoo answers, so who cares about that shit? Let's go! Can my girlfriend get pregnant if I star, star, star in her eye? I'm just wondering if my girlfriend could possibly become pregnant if I came in her eye. So, uh, <laughs> yes, your girlfriend is pregnant already. In fact, the best, the most fertile spot on a woman's body is her eyeballs. <laughs> and you should, you know, if you're trying for a baby, you should go ahead and right in those suckers you know there's two of them so you have double the chance too of getting her pregnant and then what happens when you get a woman impregnated by her eyeballs uh, she actually has the baby in her brain so her head is actually become it's gonna become like you know probably three times its size and then eventually she'll puke up a baby and uh, yep that's how reproduction works glad to educate you guys on the field I got drunk and tasered my dog. I was hosting a party at mine the other day to celebrate my brother's graduation and I got really drunk easily and when I get drunk I act really stupid. So anyway, everyone's doing party tricks and stuff. My mate, who happens to be a cop, had a taser on him which he carries at all times. So I took it out of its holster and told everyone, watch this! I then searched for my dog Spud who was sleeping in his basket at the time and I tasered him. I thought everyone would have laughed, but instead the whole room fell silent and my mate snatched the taser off me and shouted at me. Later on, when everyone left, which was quite soon after because of what I did to my dog, I went to bed with Spud after he gained consciousness and through the night he kept having those random spasms and even randomly started barking at times. So I locked him out of the garden for the night because he was annoying me. And now this morning I feel really bad and I don't know what to do with him. And this, my friends, is the moment where we all hope that that dog gets super fucking drunk and eats that guy's dick off. All right? Just saying. Yeah. Didn't want to make things gross, but seriously, that's what I hope happens. Can you skip the sex scene in Red Dead Redemption without seeing anything? My parents are fine with everything else, but are hesitant about the sex. I have Undead Nightmare if that changes anything. So your parents are fine with violence in video games, but they can't handle you seeing natural interaction between a man and a woman, or possibly a man and a man, or possibly a woman and a woman? Wow, your parents are class A assholes. Yeah, but seriously, like, I don't understand that. And, and this happens a lot, is that people don't like sex in video games. But video games, let's, let's be honest, they're very violent. Most of them are violent. That's just how it is, you know? Um, but some people have such an issue with the sex in video games, but they're like, ah, oh, the violence is cool, yeah, kill that bitch, bro. What? Dude, seriously, I don't know. I don't think sex is a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad thing to talk about. I don't think it's, like, something that should be hid from the world. It's, uh, it's, it's what happens. It's, like, a big part of human nature. So, all right, rant over, done. Sex, sex, sex. Girls, question about bras. Okay, so I'm 14 and I have a 34A size cup. Me being compared to other girls is really small, I think. My friend that is two years older than me has size C cups. OMG. My mom buys me push-up bras, but my boobs are still small. Show, I started wearing two bras as of last week. I think it is working because I'm getting guys' attention and I look bigger. I'm not a slut. It just makes me feel more confident. So my question here today is, do any of the other girl ladies wear two bras? And if not, do you know any other tricks to make your boobs look bigger without two bras? Because my parents are starting to question how my boobs became so massive overnight. And I don't want to tell them the truth. Thanks to all who contribute. Bitch, that's false advertisement. God, you're not a slut yet, but when you do become a slut, <laughs> someone's gonna like be like, oh my God, 
every guy has like stories about that where where a girl has like stuffing in her bra or has two bras or has a fake boob in there that looks like a fucking fillet of chicken just be happy with your body shit or get breast implants damn don't falsely advertise something that's not there because it's going to end up being far more embarrassing eventually. And that is the end of the video, guys. Have a great day, guys. If you want to see last time's episode of Dumb Yahoo Answers, go ahead and click the screen. And I warn all of you, don't wear two bras. Just don't. That's so stupid.